upon ten. Yeah, that's what. Right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You having a good time? Are you having a good time? Yay! Good. Well, what could film the carnival? This is Sci-Fi Randy Downs. Sci-Fi Ron Houston. And this good-looking crew here are all from Zero Two Flumbery as well. We've come down here today to talk a little bit about fire safety, particularly home fires. And we've brought with us Avon Fire and Rescue's Japan Fire Demonstration Unit. So in the next five, ten minutes we're going to discuss home fire safety, a little bit about what to do if you have a kitchen fire, why they're caused. And we'll show you what not to do if you have a Japan fire, okay? Right, well just to let you know, but approximately 10% that's every one in ten of household fires start in the kitchen, okay? They start with your cooking. Kitchen fires, one in five, will end in very serious burns or injury, okay? So we're not talking about something that's rarely happening. It happens a lot, okay, throughout Avon and throughout the country, which is why we try and educate people. Okay, how many here have got a chip pan? How many you still use an old-fashioned chip pan? Not many people, I know. But there are people that still use them, okay? But they're very dangerous, or they can be, if you're not paying attention. Okay, remember, chips on your plate last about a minute. But if you get seriously burnt, it will last a lifetime. So, we're trying to make you think about cooking, about fire safety, and safety in your home. Okay, we're going to discuss what to do if you have a chip pan fire, and about fire safety if you're unlucky enough to have one. So what's going to cause an incident in the house? What's going to cause an accident in the kitchen? Basically all accidents in the house and accidents in the kitchen are caused when we're not paying attention to what we're doing. So what should you do if you have a fire? What do you think the first thing you should do if you have a fire in your house is? Anybody know? Call the fire brigade, that's one thing, that's number three on my list. Well that's a good answer. Stop, drop and roll, that's a good one if you're on the fire, well done. Yeah, we're a clever kid. If you catch fire, you should stop what you're doing, drop on the floor and roll over until the fire's out. That's a good answer. But the first thing you need to do if you have a house fire is get out. So what do you do first? Get out. Good answer. What do you think the second thing you should do then is? Pardon? No. I'll tell you, the second thing you do is stay out. So the first thing is, what's the first thing? Get out. Second thing, stay out. And the third thing, as my expert friend over here said, is call us out. On no what number do you call? Anybody know? Oh. Go on then. 999, okay? So get out, stay out, and call us out on 999. Excellent. So we're going to be discussing chip pans. What do Avon Fire and Rescue recommend about chip pans? Well, I'm sorry, whoever it was that said to get one, Avon say, get rid of it. Don't have one. They are dangerous. And there are other options. Those options, buy yourself or get somebody to buy you a new electronic thermostatic deep fat fryer. Okay, you can write any Christmas present list if you can spell electronic, thermostatic. Great, okay. They're a lot safer than your chip pan. Another option is to use oven chips. Okay, they go in the oven. They're not going to be dangerous or as dangerous. Another option is to pour your local chip shop. How many people like chip shop chips? They are my favourite. I love chip shop chips. Okay, and finally, do what five fire Dan says here and keeps himself nice and slim and he just doesn't eat chips. Just remember ladies, a mini on the lip, years on the hips. Okay. So anybody see any smoke? Can anybody see smoke coming out of here? Yes. Well, it's rising from here now and going to the atmosphere. If that was your kitchen, 
bus folk would be gathering in the ceiling, it would be coming down, it would be thick, it would be black, it would be horrible. How many people have driven past the fire station in the last two, three weeks, two, three weeks? Quite a lot of people, hopefully. There's a sign out there, how many breaths does it take to render you unconscious if you breathe in smoke? Anybody know? Two or three? Nothing. Two or three breaths of big smoke can render you unconscious. Okay? So we get out, we stay out, we call the fire brigade out. He's moved it. Who knows what this is? Anybody? What is it? Smoke detector. Excellent. It's a smoke detector. And it's working. Who's got a smoke detector sitting in their house? Great to see. I wish there was more hands. How many people have tested it in the last month? Good. Make sure you test them regularly. If you haven't got a fire or a smoke detector in your house, these nice people next to us can talk to you about it. Avon Fire and Rescue will come round, they will fit them, and they cost nothing. You get nothing in this world for nothing. These are free. We will come, we will fit them, and they last 10 years, okay? Excellent items, they save lives. Right, so, we've got our clip on. It's about to catch fire. What are we going to do? What would be your instinct? Any ideas? How many people would try and carry it out outside the house? Not recommended. The oil is at 400 degrees C. The water, well, the, oh, the oil is at 400 degrees C. You will drop the pan. You could get burned. You'll have slippy floors. Don't try and carry it outside. What about using a tea towel? Dump tea towels. How many people would use a dump tea towel in it? Forget it. Doesn't work. Not recommended. It doesn't seal around the handles. It'll still smoke. It'll let our wound. It will put the fire out. And you just put yourself in danger. Don't use a tea towel. Same with a fire blanket. If you've got a tip pan on fire, your fire blanket will not seal around the handle and will not put that fire out. So what do we do? What's the first thing? We get out, we stay out, we call the fire brigade out. That's all you need to do. Don't try and do anything brave. You're just going to put yourself in danger. Okay, so now the exciting bit. Let's see what happens if you were to try and use water on a tip pan fire. Got a bit of a fire going now in our tip pan. We're going to use three quarters of an inch of water in this little cup. It's almost nothing. Okay? So this is what will happen if you try and put a bit of water on your tip pan. We're going to count Andy down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. So there you go. We've got either one dead person or at least somebody very badly burnt. Okay. All that happens is the water goes into the oil. Because the oil is so hot, the water heats up, turns into steam, expands and sprays oil everywhere which bursts into flames. It's not very good. You'll have one dead or one seriously burnt person if you try that. Well, what happens if we just try and trickle a bit on at a time? Well, this is what happens. Hopefully. Notice the smoke as well. Lots of thick black smoke. <laughs> okay. But maybe it's just we haven't used enough water. Maybe. We ought to try a little bit harder. Well, Andy's trying harder. <laughs> Don't try this at home, folks. What we're going to do now, we're going to put about 
half three quarters of a cup of, of water. We're going to count him down again from five, okay? I want to hear a nice shout, shout loud numbers. Five, four, three, two, one. How many of you felt the heat there? Exactly. It isn't funny. Remember, if you have a fire in your house, what's the first thing you do? Get out. Second thing, stay out. I've got someone who's listening. And the last thing, call us out on 999. You've been brilliant. Thank you very much. Cheers, Andrew.